Linus and company have been taking YouTuber merch to insane new heights. Not only have they made shirts, jackets, and water bottles, but underwear, backpacks, a screwdriver? What are they gonna do now? Just invent a new product that helps protect your controller sticks while traveling? That's convenient. Like the segue to our sponsor, me. I don't get sponsors, so subscribe so I can maybe get some in the future. I could just review these and say, yep, they fit on the sticks they say they do. But that would be a really lame and short video. What was that, like seven seconds? So instead, I'm gonna take it a step further. What other controllers will this work with that they don't mention? Since I have almost every major console's first party controllers, I thought I'd test them all. Not just seeing if they fit on all of those sticks, but if they can survive flopping around in a backpack. But still, we should start with my first impressions. We're here to see if these are actually worth a crap. That's a really cool box. I was gonna just like yeet it, but I love this box. Nice packaging always makes me happy. Comes in a pack of four for 15 bucks. I feel like that's not terrible. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. For some reason, I thought that these were gonna like suction to the edges of it. I didn't see how that was gonna be practical at all. Okay, maybe I do need the tutorial. There we go. Not bad, not bad. Those are actually pretty locked. I'm shaking the whole table trying to move this, so that's a good sign. And immediately my thought is, I wish that this was a clear plastic or a clear rubber, whatever material this is, so I could actually see that the sticks are perfectly centered. But the reason why I decided to make this video is not only to hopefully make it on the WAN show, but I have a lot of controllers. So we're gonna try it with as many sticks as possible. I am very curious to see how these stack up on other sticks. Xbox One, good. And I'm sure it's the same, but how about a Series X controller? Not going anywhere. Series X is no different. Let's keep going with the Xbox line here. This is my personal 360 controller from back in the day. So this one, you're definitely gonna wanna rotate because the D-pad gets in the way of these little legs. It is a little hard to twist though. It's a little more wobbly on the 360, but I think that's fine. It's just because of the shape of the controller, but I still think this is gonna protect it plenty good. But you can't talk about Xbox without talking about the Duke. This is the first controller I'm trying that's not listed on their pamphlet. So let's see, mm, it's not looking good. I'll actually look at their guide here, make sure I'm not doing it wrong. Ooh, so for the record, I was doing it right. I eventually got this to work. What I don't know is if it's actually straight up and down. Another reason why I think it would be nice to have these in a clear plastic, just so I could see that I'm actually doing it right. <laughs> right stick is a little different shape. Right stick's a lot easier, okay. I can't 100% confirm that these are straight up and down, but it does seem to work on the Duke. That's cool. But there's another controller for the original Xbox for people with baby hands, and I would say that it works on this controller too. That's another one for the good pile. And before we move away from Xbox, I wanted to see if this would make a difference. I didn't know if the soft touch shell would allow it to slip and slide a little bit more, but I think that this has enough force on it that it's not gonna move. We're good. And my controller matches the box. PlayStation, let's do that. This time, let's start with the iffy controller. I have a feeling that these fat dome sticks are gonna make it hard to put it on. Yeah, see, it's a little wonky with the, the PS2 controller. And I feel like it's gonna be the same way with the PS3 controller. It's the same controller without a wire. Come on. I don't know if I'd recommend it for a PS2 controller. It's forcing the sticks down a little bit and I really don't want that to happen. I want my sticks to be as center as possible. If my sticks are gonna be off center, then I will just throw it in the bag without them. And so let's try the pretty much same looking PS3 controller. Yeah, it's just pushing it down. I can kind of finagle this to get in the right spot, but again, without clear rubber, it's hard to see if it's actually straight up and down or not. And we just have the same issue here because there's nothing really for it to push off of down here. It tends to angle those sticks down. It's better, but it's still not great. I feel like these are gonna get moved around pretty easily in a bag. If these get pushed down, they're gonna stay down. It's not as easy to push it back up, but super easy to push it back down. And I'm gonna be very careful not to press the PS button. I do not want to turn on my PS5. Okay, sticks are locked on this one. You can definitely tell that the modern controllers were the priority for this one, which makes sense. But I figured with David on the team, there would have been a bigger push for the retro controllers. I don't know. Solid. This is solid. 
there's a few things with this controller that I want to try. It's another DualSense controller. This is by Hex Gaming. They make pre-modded controllers for your PS5. I have an affiliate link and a coupon code if you want to save 5% with code Jake. They're really nice controllers, and these things have swappable stick tops. So we've got both the different style high-rise sticks on here. And I turned on my PlayStation. Oh, yeah, I connected this to my PS3. I forgot. Yeah, okay, so... <laughs> You could fully play games with this on there. That's so funny. So if you have any taller sticks, you can actually play games with this and you can have a bigger area to grip onto. <laughs> Your thumbs are not gonna fly off of these sticks, that's for sure. But I can tell that the glossy finish is allowing it to slide a little bit more. You might think that that's the end of the Sony run here, but Sony makes them, <laughs> but they made handhelds. Now I think we can already figure out What's gonna happen with the slider? Yeah, it's not it, It's not gonna do anything with the, the PSP slider. But I am kind of curious if I can get it to work with the, uh, the Vita sticks. Negatory, it is too tall. Disappointing. In all seriousness though, it's not really great for PlayStation sticks, in my opinion. Now let's try Atari. We can get it on there, but it doesn't actually protect the stick from moving. Insert lame innuendo from Linus here, but in a little more of a serious tone, there, there might be a market out there. There might be a few people out there that like their Atari VCS controller and they want it to stay safe. And I can let you know that these actually work really well. These work very well. Wow, I think this is the best showing yet. Really easy to get on and they do not budge. Atari people are eating today. I know you might think it's a little weird, but I genuinely think that these will go great with a mobile controller like this. This is the Razer Kishi V1, and this is something that you're definitely gonna just throw in your backpack or in your pocket. Maybe not your pocket, but this attaches to your phone, and this will be the most mobile controller you'll get, and it works well. There's a little bit of wiggle room, but Overall, it's very good. Okay, I'm very happy with this, actually. We actually have one more stick to look at before we get to Nintendo. The Dreamcast. This one might not work. Dreamcast, you're gonna get some pretty big wiggle room, but overall, I still think it's gonna protect it. I don't know how many people are taking the Dreamcast controller places, but if that's you, then I think it's worth it. And with this pack, you can do it to all four controllers. All right, we're gonna end with Nintendo controllers here. You know I have to try it. Infamously, the worst sticks of all time. And I am very happy to say that this will protect your N64 sticks and very well. Wow, that does not move. Oh, okay. Maybe not. So if you use a good bit of force down, then it will stick down. I'm curious to see how this will fare in a bag, but I'd say it's pretty decent. I'm still very impressed, and GameCube is good. I don't think there's any difference between the Wave Bird and the original GameCube controller. Nope, okay, sweet, both work. You probably see this coming. It's not gonna do anything for your C-Sticks, unfortunately. That's the worst part about the GameCube controller, and the really only bad part of the GameCube controller, in my opinion. I'm not gonna crap on Linus for that one. But one thing that they might not have thought about is the nunchuck. You might wanna perfectly place it like this. I feel like the glossy surfaces make it a lot easier for it to move, which is unfortunate, but it does technically work with the nunchuck. Just not gonna work as well as it should because of that glossy finish. The very unorthodox Wii U controller. But interestingly enough, the gloss of the Wii U controller does not let it slip and slide. If I like really force it, it does. Two thumbs up. But what about Project Q? I mean, uh, the Wii U gamepad. And again, the gloss does not let it slip and slide as much as other controllers. I think it might have to do with the fact that these controllers have that little lip around the stick. Because the nunchuck does not have that. That's pretty good. Okay, you already know the answer to this one. That's a no. Disappointing. This I'm very curious about because on my Switch, my Joy-Cons, I have a grip case that has the extended back. It's not an actual shell swap. It is a casing that goes over the top of it. So I think since these sticks are shorter and this gives the basal electra height, I don't think it's gonna work here. Oh my gosh. Wow, okay. 
I apologize. Color me impressed. And again, matching the box. Well, I also want to try this without it being attached to the console. Even without the console, still pretty good. And last but certainly not least, the Switch Pro controller. Now, this is on the box, so I feel like this will not be a problem. But again, I've got an Extreme 8 soft touch shell on it. Will it mess with it? Not moving a muscle. Okay, if you really force it, it'll wiggle a little bit. But that's the thing. How much force does it take for this to get out of place? I can't really quantify a thumb push, and I don't own LTT Labs, so I don't really have any machines to do the work for me. But I have a backpack. It's not an LTT backpack, but a gaming backpack. This is what I'm calling the backpack test. I'm going to take my Nintendo Switch official backpack, and I'm going to throw my controllers into this bag. Since this is a Switch branded backpack, I'm going to actually put these in their pockets. This is tight. I don't know if it's going to fit. Okay. So immediately I can tell that this is moving the sticks way to the left. So don't put it in the pocket. I'm going to shove this in there. And this already fell off. Nice. I'm going to quickly test to see if this will fit in the Switch spot. And that keeps falling off. Okay, so maybe don't use it with these cases. I'm just gonna grab different Joy-Cons. These actually do fit in the Joy-Con pockets pretty well, and they seem to actually keep it straight. So really only for the Joy-Con pockets. But beyond that, I'm just gonna throw these into my bag. And this is the official, official test. Very scientific. That seems good. It looks like it's lifting over here, but I think that's just natural. It actually stayed on the uh, the case ones this time, and it looks like it stayed on the Joy-Cons. And as soon as... Ah, <laughs> oh, man, I was too zoomed in. When I set this down, it immediately just popped off. Okay, let me... Gotta do the Linus test, you know? I think after a little bit of use and abuse, it's going to come off easier. I guess we'll see eventually what the lifespan of this product is. Let's get a little warm in here. Much better. Wii U. Wii U's good. Gotta get that wire in there too. Wonder if the wires are gonna mess with it at all. Original Xbox, pretty decent. It's a little iffy on the straightness of these sticks though. I need to turn on the AC. Trying four controllers this time. Well, I managed to turn on my WaveBird, but that seems good. My Dreamcast actually seems to be pretty good too. N64, not bad. I feel like it's a little, just like slightly off, but not bad. I might give this a round two real quick. And regular GameCube controller, good as well. Again, just like a slight bit of movement from the N64. The nunchuck also slightly moved around a bit, but overall I'm impressed enough with the N64 controller. And then this worked awesome. I think this will be perfect for these. I don't have the backbone or any of those other controllers like this, but for the Razer Kishi with the full size sticks, it's freaking awesome. Starting to wish that I had more than just four of these to make testing go faster. The left stick was pushed over to the left a little bit on this one. Same thing over here. I think it's because of that slope that it wants to move over to the left a little bit. But this is a bit of an aggressive test. So, eh. 360, good. Same deal. A little too much of a slope on this left side. But right stick is good. I am fully sweating now. And I just turned on my PlayStation again. Pretty good. Pretty good. One thing to look out for though with a modded controller, something that has replaceable stick tops, is they're just gonna come right off. <laughs> and since the DualShock 2 and 3 are pretty much the same controller, just gonna do the DualShock 3 and then DualShock 4. I don't have much faith in this one. And immediately, yeah, these are slightly to the right. Not a pass for the DualShock 3, or 2 for that matter. DualShock 4 though, pretty good. And time for the shockingly robust Atari controller. And to pair with that, I've got one more thing I wanna test. I wanna try these with my other Joy-Cons because these are the Gully Kit Joy-Cons. I feel like for the paranoid stick drift people, these are gonna be the perfect combo, or at least they'll want it to be the perfect combo. But I'm a little worried since one, the Joy-Cons have not fared well in the backpack test, but two, these are removable stick tops. Let's see. Okay, I did not mean to throw those out like that. 
And yeah, looks like even the beefy Atari controller does not do well against the left edge there. Still pretty good on the right stick. And one of these stayed on very well and actually didn't take the top off when I pulled this off. I gotta make sure it's the right, yeah, okay, it's the right one. This one just took the stick top right off. Your mileage may vary. I did some more testing and the slight left lean on the Xbox controllers is absolutely nothing to worry about. But unfortunately, pretty much all of the PlayStation controllers tend to get stuck pointing down. Again, your mileage may vary, but that was my experience. And to be fair, those tests were pretty violent. Overall, I think this is a good product that will work with most controllers. It's definitely better than just throwing the controllers into a bag, but I'd still love to see a clear version. And I also think it'll work great in more long-term storage, like how I store my less used controllers in these shoe pouches. I'll make a controller compatibility tier list to put on screen now so you don't have to dig through the video for a specific controller. I also forgot to go over the Steam Deck, and I can say that it works the best on it by far. But Linus, I'm a big fan. I'd love to collaborate with you someday on some retro modding content. I live in Oregon, so I could literally just drive to you. And I actually have a product idea that I'd love to pitch to you off camera. Oh, also, I love the screwdriver and this flannel, by the way. LTTstore.com. But what do you guys think? Let me know what you think in those comments down below. And let me know what you think about this segue to our sponsor. It's me again. So, like subscribe and i will see you guys in the next one later guys so i bought some stuff from lttstore.com i'm a walking advertisement today unfortunately i had to pay for these so maybe next time linus eh?